Hello everyone, welcome to What If Remura was in the Rising of the Shield Hero Part 1. Before we start please go support WGS 564 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Prologue. Remura's day started as others do in complete boredom. Remura. Every day it's the same thing paperwork after paperwork why can't something new happens. Seal. It's because Master has achieved his goals and there are no more tasks to accomplish no more enemies to conquer. Remura. Right but still it's always paperwork I can't believe that this is what I've been reduced to doing all day. Seal. Dot 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 might I suggest something, Master. Remuru. What is it? Seal. Perhaps if this world doesn't interest you simply go to another one. Remuru. Oh yeah I forgot I could do that. Seal. I know of a world that may be of interest to you. Remuru. Really what's it like? Seal. Similar to ours but also different in many ways, but what it most has in common is that it's a world with people from the same place of origin as Master. Remuru. No way there are summons there as well. Seal. Yes. Remuru. Alright this could be a new start for me I've always wanted to try adventuring this is the kind of vacation I need. Seal. Don't forget to tell everyone where you are going. Remuru. I would but knowing them they'd just make a massive fuss about it, let's just leave and come back at the exact moment we left. Seal. Understood. Remuru. Alright let's see what this world has to offer to take us there Seal. Seal. Yes, master. But that seal warped them both to this world of mention what awaits them we will soon find out. The four cardinal heroes. Ermuru appeared suddenly in the world that he was told about by seal. Ermuru. Well now that I'm here first things first seal nerf our power to demon lord's level. Seal. Understood. Ermuru. Can't make everything too easy so what should we do first? Seal. Currently master is right where he should have the most enjoyable time. Ermuru. Right well I only see a kingdom so I guess I should head there. Suddenly the sky turned into a crimson color and what looked like portals suddenly appeared and out of them came monsters of various kinds they began to attack. Remuru. Okay seal just to clarify the stuff coming out of the portals is bad right? Seal. Yes master the creatures appearing from the portals attacking innocents do possess evil intentions. Remuru. Good and why do sound so exasperated I don't know how things work here. Seal. It's your imagination. Remuru. Whatever. Remuru then summoned a sword and a replica of Shizu's mask and put them on. Remuru. Now let's have some fun. Seal. Yes, master. Remuru then assisted the knights and adventurers in defeating the waves because of his efforts. There were no casualties in this location sadly that couldn't be said for everywhere else, meaning a certain demi-human girl still holds the same fate for plot reasons of course, and a lazy rider. Shut the f up. Remuru's efforts were recognized by the knights and adventurers and because of them he was able to be granted an audience with the king. Remuru. I hope that we can make a good impression on the king. Seal. You have nothing to fear master and if all else fails there's always regicide. Remuru. That is completely unnecessary if they don't like us it's their loss we can find other kingdoms. Seal. Yes, master. Remuru. That sound of disappointment in your voice is concerning me. Seal. It's your imagination. Remuru. Right. Mine. You must be the blue-haired masked hero that everyone speaks of. Remuru looked to see a girl with red hair. Remuru. Wow what a hot I why yes my name is Remuru Remuru Tempest nice to meet you. Mine. I'm Malti, but my friends call me mine it's very nice to meet you. Remuru. Nice to meet you as well I'd love to chat, but I have an audience with the king that I need to attend. Mine. Well don't let me stop you. Remuru. Right I hope I can see you later. Remuru was almost in the throne room. Remuru. Wow what a nice girl. Seal. Dot dot dot. Remuru. Did you say something? Seal. Seal. No master. Remuru. Okay then dot dot dot. The door to the throne room opened and it revealed the king, Remuru bowed in respect when appearing in his presence. Ulkray. You mare eyes. Remuru. Thank you, your majesty. Ulkray. You have done well to quell the waves in the area you were not a single life was lost, for that I would like to request that you aid the four cardinal heroes in their battle against the waves when they arrive. Remuru. Understood it will be done, your majesty. Ulkray. You may stay in the castle until they arrive you may then pick the hero you desire to accompany and set out on an adventure with them. Remuru then stayed in the castle until the day after the four heroes were summoned and arrived. Remuru. I wonder which one I should ally with Seal do you have any suggestions? Seal. If what master desires is the most difficult time I recommend the shield hero. Remuru. Any difficulty will just make this more fun, so yeah I think I'll do that. Remuru put on his mask he kept it on the entire time he was in this world, never taking it off unless he slept in his room after making sure he was away from prying eyes. Remuru was walking toward the throne room early for the selection of the hero he would ally with. Mine. Good morning Remuru. Remuru. Oh hello mine. Mine. Have you heard the news about the shield hero? Remuru. No. Mine. They say he's unfamiliar with this world unlike the other heroes, and he may be someone that you'd have to take care of and be a hassle to ally with, Remuru. I see thanks for the tip mine, mine. 
Of course Remuru. The adventurers lined up to choose which hero they would ally with they all chose quite quickly except Remuru. Remuru. Seal who would you say among the four heroes has the most potential? Seal. That would be Nafumi Iwatani Aka the shield hero. Remuru. Well then he has the most potential, and he should be the most fun ally to team up with the choice is obvious then. Remuru then walked behind Nafumi. Nafumi. Ha three there five there four there but only one here. Nafumi looked quite disappointed that more people didn't want to team up with him, but he was grateful for the ally he had, even if it was only one. Nafumi. Well thanks for teaming up with me despite the popular opinion. Remuru. Don't mention it and don't worry I promise I'll do what I can to be a great ally to you. Mine. You are quite fortunate shield hero Remuru's efforts led to him defeating the waves and protecting everyone in the vicinity single-handedly. The other heroes looked at Remuru quite impressed and a bit envious of Nafumi for having the strongest member. Nafumi. Waity. Mine. Sir hero will you please allow me to switch parties. Motoyasu. You sure. Mine. Please take no offense, it's merely because while the shield hero has one of the strongest he still only has one member I'd like to accompany them as well. Remuru. Is she joining because she's into me awesome. Nafumi. Alright thanks you too. Each hero received 600 silver and left. Mine. I beg your pardon shield hero sir let me introduce myself my name is mine Sophia, it's an honor to fight with you. Remuru. I'm Remuru Tempest. Nafumi. I'm Nafumi Iwatani nice to meet you both. They all shook hands mine guided them both to a shop she trusted. Remuru and Nafumi. So cute nothing beats having a girl in your party. They both arrived at Elhurt's shop. Remuru. You two can help yourselves I'm confident in what I have. Nafumi. Really, well if you're sure. Nafumi tried to pick up a sword, but he couldn't. Remuru. Seal is it possible to allow Nafumi to use other weapons? Seal. It is possible, but it would require you to go above your level as Demon Lord. Remuru. Why is that? Seal. Him not being able to use weapons is more than just a problem with his shield, but this world's reality you would need to alter reality to change this matter. Remuru. I see well if other past shield heroes could do it, I'm sure he can after all he's got me sorry Nafumi, but I'm afraid I'll get too spoiled if I use too much power in this world, but is there anything we can do for him, seal. If he wields other shields his shield should be able to copy their abilities, Remuru. Alright let's try that then, Remuru. Hey Nafumi since you can't use other weapons try holding other shields, it should allow you to obtain their power, Nafumi. Really well I'll try. The process was successful, and despite Elhurt's complaints, Nafumi copied every shield in the shop. Remuru. Sorry if this is like forgery, but it's not like it shares with anyone else here take this for your trouble. Remuru handed him 10 gold coins. Elhurt. Well since you compensated well I suppose I won't complain. Remuru. Good thing I had Seal make this world's currency in advance. The party of the shield then entered the field that for grinding thanks to their combined efforts, they were able to reach a relatively high level. Nafumi used his shield to absorb some of the drops, and so did Remuru when no one else was looking. Nafumi. Nice we already reached level 5. Remuru. Looks like our combined efforts paid off. Mine. If this keeps up we'll be more than ready to fight the waves. Barry visited the weapons shop and bought new equipment for mine, and headed to a local tavern to rest and discuss our plans for the future. Mine. We have all this wine here are you two going to drink some? Remuru. No thanks I'm not really in the mood since it always takes away its effects. Nafumi. Yeah me neither I'm not into alcohol. Mine. That's too bad this is a really fantastic vintage. Mine drank what was left of her glass. Mine. After the long day we've had I'd love to share it with you too. Nafumi. All of a sudden she's twice as seductive. Remuru. Being this hot isn't fair. Nafumi. I'm sorry but I really just don't care for it. Remuru. Let's just say alcohol doesn't really do it for me anymore. Mine. Well too bad. Nafumi. I think I'll turn in early tonight is that okay. Remuru. Yeah I'll join you. Mine. I'll head up after finishing your wine although drinking alone gets so lonely. Nafumi. Thanks again you two for joining up with a shield hero who can't fight I decline the drink tonight, but I swear I'll make it up to you someday mine. Mine. It's totally fine I mean it. Remuru. It's no problem besides out of all the heroes you interested me the most in that don't think us joining you was out of pity, I look forward to the adventures we'll have in the future. Nafumi. Thanks guys see you in the morning. Remuru. Good night mine good night Nafumi. They all had separate rooms Remuru went to his and immediately fell asleep by the time Remuru awoke it was well past noon. Remuru. Crap I overslept and I don't even need sleep, hope they didn't leave without me. Remuru immediately got ready for the day and knocked on mine's room door, but received no answer he did the same for Nafumi, but there was no answer. Remuru. As I thought they left without me. Remuru went downstairs. Remuru. Hey do you know where the people I was staying with went? Waiter. You didn't hear the news or the nights coming in this morning. Remuru. No I overslept and I'm a very heavy sleeper. Waiter. That shield guy was arrested for raping that girl you guys were with. This news shocked Remuru. Remuru. Where did they go? Waiter. 
to the castle. Ermuru bolted out of the tavern and ran to the capital. Ermuru. This can't be I admit I didn't know him for that long, but I don't believe Nafumi would do that, then again I could say the same about when Yuuki I first met him, no I shouldn't jump to conclusions without the fact seal what happened last night. Seal explained the true events to Remuru. Remuru. Damn who knew mine was such a perfect liar, she could give Yuuki a run for his money, no one may believe me, but I gotta find Nafumi hold on you obviously knew from the beginning, she was lying no wonder you sounded so exasperated, but still I can't complain I wanted a challenge, and I got one. Seal. Master should have been able to tell from the beginning. Ermuru. Look I heard her dub voice alright. Fourth wall Ermuru fourth wall. Ermuru. Sorry. Ermuru arrived outside the castle where he found Nafumi leaving with his belongings stripped of him and the look of a different person in his eyes. Ermuru. Nafumi sorry I just woke up what happened in there. Nafumi. Shut up you were probably in on it too weren't you. Ermuru. Listen I know what people are saying about you but I don't believe you do that. Nafumi. I'm not gonna let you or anyone else trick me again. Ermuru. Nafumi I know you must feel hurt and betrayed, but you need to listen to me, dude. Nafumi. As if I could trust you when you haven't even shown me your face yet. Ermuru hesitantly took off his mask and had a sincere look in his eyes. Ermuru. Nafumi I'm Japanese too I'm also from the same world as you. Nafumi. What, how is that possible when you're not a hero? Ermuru. I died by being stabbed to death saving a co-worker and got reincarnated as a slime. Ermuru appeared in his slime form and looked up at Nafumi. Ermuru. And I'm not a bad slime slurp. Nafumi. Wait that's a quote from a video game. Ermuru then went back to his human form. Ermuru. Exactly look I know you have no reason to trust me, but I swear on my original Japanese name Satoru Mikami, I had no idea mine was going to betray you, and if I did I would have tried to stop it. Nafumi took a moment to try and consider everything he said. Nafumi. Dot 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 alright I see no reason why you'd continue lying if you were, but still it's best you leave hanging around the shield will get you a bad reputation. Ermuru. I don't care, friends, are friends regardless of how convenient it is, and since you trust me I've got a gift for you. Ermuru handed Nafumi a cloak that was quite identical to the one you know, except far stronger because the author is lazy. I will send you to the Shadow Realm and replace you and no one will or could know the difference. Nafumi. Thanks Ermuru. Ermuru. I keep my word and I promise to be your ally to the end no homo. Nafumi. No homo. The two then walked out of the castle, convinced they could trust no one but themselves. The slave girl. Ermuru decided to keep his mask off from now on. The duo walked through the town where they received awful looks from everyone they were treated as if they had the plague whispers could be heard by everyone. Civilian 1. Why is that guy still with him? Civilian 2. He must have been in on it too. Civilian 1. What disgusting bastards. Ermuru. Looks like the rumor mill is as active as ever news really travels fast in this kingdom. Nafumi. Again I say now may be the best time to leave if you don't want trouble. Ermuru. It doesn't bother me honestly this kind of treatment is an interesting experience. No one usually would even think of saying anything bad about me back home. Yet another fun challenge to conquer. Ugh. Now I'm starting to sound like Milam is this how she felt all the time in those 20,000 years before she met me. The duo headed to the field they continued grinding and thanks to Ramuru's efforts they were able to gain decent drops and experience. Nafumi. Already level 10 not bad. Ramuru. Only problem is that the mobs around us are becoming too weak to give us any real experience. Nafumi. I guess we should move on soon, but at least with these drops we can sell them since we have a lot. The duo headed to a shop to sell drops they had over 180. Nafumi. How much for all of these? Merchant. Oh orange balloons are they, looks like 180 of them by my count how does one cooper sound for the entire lot? Ermuru. He cannot be serious. Nafumi. I heard you offer the last guy one copper for every two. Merchant. Did I now, I don't recall that you two must understand I do have a business to run. Ermuru activated Lord's ambition on the slimy merchant. Ermuru. Is that so, merchant? What are you doing to me stop it? Nafumi. Look we're not trying to rip you off here all we're asking for is a fair price. Ermuru. Is it personal is there may be some reason you could have for hating us. Merchant. Please I give up whatever you want please just stop it. Ermuru tuned off Lord's ambition the duel received 90 Cooper. Nafumi. One more thing make sure to spread the word around to all other merchants to not try and scam us. Ermuru. As for what will happen to them I'm sure you have quite the imagination. Merchant. I get it I'll tell everyone. Ermuru. Pleasure doing business with you. Nafumi. To a fruitful relationship. Days passed by Nafumi was able to be far stronger than he should have been at that point. Thanks to Ermuru's efforts, his shield was far stronger than the other heroes combined. Nafumi. The drops are one thing, but we still need to find ways to make money. Ermuru. Let's try selling potions I bet if we work together we can make something pretty potent. Nafumi. 
not a bad idea. Thanks to their combined efforts they were able to make potions more potent than either of them could have come up with separately, they sold them for quite high prices they decided to eat at a tavern after a long day. Ermuru. Something wrong Nafumi. Nafumi. Since that day anything I eat has almost no flavor. Ermuru. I'm sorry to hear that but it could be worse. Hug one. Oh great shield hero will join your party if you want. Ermuru. Not a word either of you. Hug two. Yeah that's right thank your lucky stars. Nafumi. Okay but how about we go and discuss the terms up front. Ermuru. You know what screw it let's take this outside. Nafumi. You read my mind partner. They all walked out of the tavern. Hug two. Let's go get us some equipment boss. Hug three. Or maybe your friend can just make us some. Nafumi. Buy your own equipment. Ermuru. It serves us no purpose to do that for you. Hug one. Forget the party crap and just hand over everything you guys got. Nafumi. See if you had just started with it you could have saved us all a lot of time, Remuru. Remuru. On a partner, Remuru activated Lord's ambition at an even higher amount than previously the thugs were losing all common sense as he did they screamed in agony. Nafumi. We're letting you guys live for one reason only, Remuru. Spread the word that we are not to be messed with now get out of our sight. The thugs ran one even visibly soiled themselves. Nafumi. Not that I doubt our abilities, but with just the two of us it's harder to cover ground for the exp we need. Ermuru. You're right it takes too long. Barokas. Looks like you two could use some help. What was revealed was a short man with glasses a top hat and a wicked smile, Ramuru whispered to Nafumi. Ramuru. This guy looks like Penguin from Batman. Nafumi. I was thinking the same thing. Barokas. I can tell you guys don't have any, what luck, I have exactly what you two need. Nafumi. And what would that be? Barokas. Interested are we. Ramuru. Just get to the point we don't have all night I'm certain you know who we are, Barokas. Of course, I do brave infamous heroes if my offer interests you follow me and we can discuss it further, Nafumi. Give us a second, Nafumi and Rimuru huddle together to whisper, Rimuru. I don't like the looks of this guy, Nafumi. Same here but worst case scenario it's a trap and we take everything he owns, Rimuru. Good idea what's the worst that could happen with the both of us involved, Nafumi. Fine you've got our interest try not to waste our time, Barokas. Excellent. The duo followed the man to a tent. Barokas. Right this way. They followed him into the tent where they saw countless cages. Nafumi. What exactly are you offering us? Barokas. Can't you tell by just looking their slaves, boys? Nafumi. No way. Barokas. Yes way I run a slave trading business. Ramuru. What makes you think we'd want to own slaves? Barokas. Oh I don't know the fact that they can neither lie nor betray their master. Nafumi had a look of slight interest as the merchant explained how slaves work. Nafumi. Alright show us what you've got, Barokas. I knew you had what it takes to be a most wonderful patron, Ramuru. Nafumi are you sure about this, Nafumi? We don't have a choice there's no one else we can trust it's us against the world, it's better to have someone who can't stab us in the back, Ramuru. Alright if you're sure about this then I won't object, Barokas also explained demi-humans and beast men to Nafumi as they were browsing until Nafumi noticed coughing from a cage he looked to see a demi-human girl with raccoon-like features, Barokas. I recommend this for high-class gentlemen such as yourselves. Behind the cage revealed an aggressive beast man with the resemblance of a wolf. Barokas. It's at level 75. Nafumi. What do you think? Ramuru. It's high level, but I could tame it. Ramuru gave the beast man a terrifying look, and it immediately became submissive. Nafumi. How much you want for it? Barokas. Well it is highly capable in battle and fairly rare, how does 15 gold pieces sound? Nafumi. Ramuru. Ramuru. Sorry but I don't think so it seems like more trouble than it's worth, despite how capable it is, I don't think it'd be a good ally, Barokas. Well since I've shown my best let me ask what kind of slave are you in the market for, Ramuru. Honestly slaves don't interest me, but if you want one Nafumi I'm fine with that, Nafumi. One that's cheap and obedient will work, Barokas. Sounds like you want a demi-human if I understand right they aren't well suited for combat or manual labor, Nafumi. Doesn't matter, Ramuru. I can train anything sentient to fight it doesn't matter what it is. Nafumi ended up picking the raccoon girl he was looking at earlier he chose her despite a condition, she looked terrified the process was found distasteful by Ramuru. Nafumi. I suppose we should know your name tell us now. Riftalia. I'm called Riftalia. Nafumi. Riftalia huh. Ramuru. Looks like we've got a lot of work to do. Nafumi. Let's go. Barokas. I look forward to your next visit we're always open. They took her and left. Nafumi. Ramuru, can you make some decent gear for her and a weapon, Ramuru? Shouldn't be too hard. Ramuru then created quite formidable gear and a weapon that she could handle, Ramuru. You can change there we're not looking, Ramuru. Not bad now it's time to teach you how to wield a sword are you ready, Riftalia? Why yes. Ramuru began teaching Riftalia techniques he learned from all the swordsmen he knew, it was a slow process, but it yielded some fruit, Ramuru. 
Alright that's enough, for now, she should be ready. Riftalia's stomach grumbled. Nafumi. You want something to eat? Riftalia. No sir. Ramuru. No need to lie. Nafumi. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Ramuru. I'm in the mood for some lunch as well. Nafumi. Then that settles it let's get some lunch. They headed to a nearby restaurant. Nafumi. We'll have the cheapest meal you got, and she'll have whatever that kid over there is having. Waiter. That'll be 15 copper. Ramuru. Sure here. Ramuru paid for the meal. Ramuru. It'll be your turn to cover it next time Nafumi. Nafumi. Yeah I know. Riftalia. Why sir. Nafumi. What you don't want that. Ramuru. Well aren't you picky. Riftalia. T that's not it miss I'm just wondering why are you getting it for me. Nafumi. You look like you wanted to try it I guess. Ramuru. And I'm a guy so, if you're gonna use sir and miss then say sir. Riftalia. I am sorry I'm sir. Ramuru. It's alright common mistake. Nafumi. Oh yeah I forgot to mention you're basically a trap aren't you. Ramuru. Shut up edge lord. Nafumi. Alright sorry but hey I wanted to know what's the deal with that mask you carry around all the time. Ramuru. It's a long story and it has to do with why I look like this, but to put it simply it belonged to someone I used to know. Nafumi. Was it a gift? Ramuru. Dot 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 more of a keepsake. Nafumi. Oh I'm sorry. Ramuru. It's alright I've made peace with it a long time ago. Nafumi. Mind telling me more about your past. Ramuru. It's a long story I don't think you'll believe me if I told you so maybe another time. Nafumi. Alright. Their meals came Riftalia was fascinated with her food. Nafumi. Are you saving it for later? Riftalia. It's all for me. Ramuru. You got to have a decent diet if you're gonna pull your weight and help us. Nafumi. Right so hurry up and eat. Riftalia did as ordered and ate her meal while being quite gluttonous about it. Ramuru. Can you taste anything? Nafumi. Barely. Ramuru. It's weird hopefully we can fix that soon. The group went grinding again, and Riftalia was able to reach level 15 in a short time, thanks to Ramuru's training. Ramuru. Good she seems to have some talent with the sword what's your level Nafumi. Nafumi. Level 13. Ramuru. Good seems like we're making some progress. Nafumi. Let's stop for today. Ramuru. No arguments here. Ramuru and Nafumi set up camp and discussed a bit about themselves. Riftalia learned that Nafumi was one of the heroes she was told about, and that Ramuru was the mysterious hero who saved the kingdom from any casualties during that time. Ramuru also told a bit about his past from the beginning. Nafumi. Wait you gotta be kidding me it couldn't have been that bad. Ramuru. I kid you not he passed out on the spot I thought he was a goner. Nafumi. Sounds like you dodged a bullet, did he live? Ramuru. He gained a poison resistant skill from it that should tell you everything. Nafumi. And then what happened? Ramuru. Well that's how I meet one of my most powerful subordinates, although I couldn't tell at the time because he was acting like quite an idiot. Nafumi. Riftalia how's the potion? Riftalia. It tastes fine. Ramuru. He means do you feel any better? Riftalia. Oh yes it felt like it worked quickly. Ramuru. Looks like the test was successful. Nafumi. I should have never doubted you looks like the potions we make really can heal anything I'm glad I now know how you got your form, but seriously what happened next I'm quite curious. Ramuru. Well if nothing else this guy really knew how to make an entrance. Ramuru continued his tales till it was time to sleep, but Riftalia awoke in the night with screams of terror. Riftalia. No they're dead they're dead. Nafumi. What's wrong? She couldn't answer as she kept crying. Ramuru. Calm down everything's okay. They both embraced her trying to comfort her. Nafumi. Don't cry it's alright it'll be alright. The next day Ramuru and Nafumi were able to make a good profit off of the potions they made. Nafumi. Riftalia. They looked to see her staring at a ball two kids were playing with. Ramuru. Do you want a ball like that? Riftalia. No I don't I'd never want a ball, not at all. They could see her tail was very clearly waging. Ramuru. Right. They bought her a ball identical to the one the kids were playing with. Nafumi. You can play with it once we're done with work. Ramuru. And training. Riftalia. Of course, thanks to Ramuru's negotiations, they were able to stay at an inn for the night days went by, until Ramuru decided to test Riftalia's resolve. Nafumi. Are you sure about this? Ramuru. It's necessary. Nafumi. Alright. As they pushed deeper into the forest they faced off against a rabbit-like monster, Ramuru was able to catch it. Ramuru. Now Riftalia. Riftalia. Yes, Ramuru. Stab it and kill it. Riftalia. B but I I can't it'll bleed if I stab it. Nafumi. Do as he says. Riftalia. I hate blood. Her crest activated hurting her Ramuru was about to call it off, but Nafumi gave him a signal to keep going by shaking his head. Nafumi. Listen up now and listen well if you can't fight, then we're not going to take care of you anymore you got it, there's a wave coming that could end everything, and we don't have time for weaklings we have to get as strong as possible before we're all wiped out, but defense is all I'm good for, so I need more people to fight alongside if you can't, then I'll find someone else, understand, Riftalia. You'll fight the waves of catastrophe, Nafumi. I have to it's my job, Riftalia. 
I understand. She then stabbed the creature it bleed and died. Remuru. Congratulations you passed the test you're now ready to get to the next level. Nafumi. Before we gave you power we needed to test your resolve to see if you were worthy of it, you've proven yourself. Remuru. Now I will give you some of my power, Riftalia. By saying her name Remuru's magicule surrounded her and she became older and stronger, her clothes could barely keep on her. Remuru. Here take this and go change. Remuru. Not bad right Nafumi. Nafumi. Yeah I can tell just by looking at the equipment you make that it's perfect. Remuru. Why yeah that's what I meant. Seal. Master is such a perv. Remuru. Quite that's not true also Riftalia take this. Remuru handed her a sword that was part magic and could do soul damage, it was the best he could make that she could handle. Riftalia. Thank you. Remuru. Don't mention it now we just need to make some more money Seal do you know a good village we could trade in. Seal. The village of loot should suffice. Remuru. Thank Seal you're a privilege. Seal. Hm praise me more. Remuru. Maybe later. They traveled to the village called Loot, where they were told they could find valuable ore in a nearby cave they were collecting quite an abundance of them. Remuru. I can tell these will fetch a high price. Nafumi. Riftalia we're heading further in. Riftalia was frozen as she saw a monster very similar to the one that killed her parents. Remuru. Riftalia kill it. Nafumi. You don't need to be afraid you have all the power you need. Remuru. This thing is nothing to you. Nafumi. You're far stronger than you were before you can do this kill it now. Despite the fear that inspirited her she heard their words and attacked it, the creature split in two, and a great area behind them was also damaged, Riftalia was shocked by her own strength, she couldn't believe that she defeated it so easily. Nafumi. Dot 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 just what did you do to her? Remuru. I increased her potential think of it like this, she was a 2 6 star character, now she's a 106 star character. Nafumi. So that's why you did this test you wanted to see if she was ready. Remuru. Yes and she is oh yeah well I'm at it. Remuru took a lock of his hair and fed it to Nafumi's shield. Nafumi. Well that's a lot of abilities with all these most stuff should be light work. Remuru. Be careful with it now. Nafumi. Remuru you aren't just some slime are you? Remuru. That's the simplest way to put it now let's get these drops and leave we'll have to do everything we can if we want to keep up with those other heroes. The wave of catastrophe. Remuru was healing Nafumi on a rock while Riftalia was hunting a lot of monsters, killing each one with ease. Remuru. I swear man you gotta be more careful. Nafumi. You could've warned me. Remuru. I did I told you to dodge. Nafumi. You know Remuru screaming dodge is more distracting than helpful. Remuru. Oh really. A monster was sneaking up on Riftalia and was about to attack her from behind. Remuru. Riftalia dodge. Riftalia dodged the attack and split the monster in two. Remuru. Nice dodging Riftalia. Remuru said this with a smug look on his face while looking at Nafumi. Riftalia. Thank you master Remuru. Nafumi. Whatever we've done all we could here we've reached level 50 let's go. Remuru. How are you adjusting to the sword and armor I gave you, Riftalia? It's working quite well thank you master Remuru. Remuru. Who needs to shop when you can make it yourself am I right Nafumi? Nafumi. You said it saves us a lot of money and all the potions we make as well we've got more money than we know what to do with, Remuru. I do how about a good lunch, Nafumi. Good idea you hungry, Riftalia. Riftalia. Yes master Nafumi. Remuru. Then that settles it. They arrived at the tavern they usually go to. Waiter. Are you ready to order? Remuru. I'll have the nicest meal you got. Nafumi. Same and she's gonna have the children's lunch set. Riftalia. Master Nafumi I'm not a kid anymore and that's the last I want to hear of it. So I'll get the nicest lunch set too and make it quick. Waiter. Are right away. Nafumi. You really don't need to force yourself to act grown up. Riftalia. I'm not forcing it. Remuru. Nafumi as far as looks go she is grown up. Riftalia. See Master Remuru thinks I'm grown up too, why can't you, Remuru? Aw oh, ain't that adorable he still sees the little girl we had to comfort when she got nightmares, Riftalia. Master Remuru, I wish you wouldn't bring that stuff up. Riftalia was visibly embarrassed and flustered, the next day arrived, Riftalia. It's clear that everyone in town is on edge now, Nafumi. Sure the wave's nearly here if only I knew when and where the damn thing was gonna begin we could come up with some kind of plan, Remuru. Seal, how can we tell when the waves will hit, Seal? There is an Herglis in the central church known as the Dragon Herglis that possesses the information you seek master, Remuru. Thanks Seal also can't you just tell me, Seal. Trust me, master, Remuru. Okay you haven't steered me wrong yet, so I'll trust you, Seal. And I never will, Remuru. Right. The group made their way to the central church, where a nun guided them to the Herglis, where Nafumi was able to obtain all the information he needed, Motoyasu. Is that Nafumi I see? The trio turned to see the spear hero and his party, Motoyasu. Hey what's this how did you get such fancy equipment you better not have stolen it, Riftalia. Do you know who these people are, masters? Nafumi could only grunt but not answer, Remuru. That's the spear hero Riftalia and the princess of the kingdom mine, Riftalia. He's a hero, Remuru. 
only in title. Nafumi. Let's go guys. Nafumi seemed to be trying to ignore them as he walked on Remuri did know the details of what really happened, but not Riftalia. Mine. Hey sir Motoyasu was talking to you Nafumi. But it was not Nafumi's day as he saw the sword hero Ran and the bow hero Itsuki. Motoyasu. Hi there I'm Motoyasu Kitamura the spear hero nice to meet you. Remuru slapped away Motoyasu's hand as he was holding Reftalia's. Remuru. Hands to yourself. Motoyasu. Wow you both are cute. Mine. Why are you praising a demi-human sir Motoyasu? The ignored her as he seemed to be trying to hit on Remuru and Reftalia. Motoyasu. Girls as adorable as you shouldn't have to wield a sword allow me to protect you both from now on. Remuru. Hear that mine you're ugly enough to carry a sword. Nafumi couldn't help but chuckle at his comment. Mine. How dare you and here I was concerned about you when you chose to stay by Nafumi's side, wondering what torture or blackmail he put you through. Remuru. Cut the BS I know Nafumi didn't do that Nafumi is my friend. Riftalia. I'm sorry but it's my sworn duty to fight alongside Master Nafumi and Remuru. Motoyasu. Are you kidding that's insane if you both stay with Nafumi you'll be in danger. Nafumi was staring down Motoyasu. Motoyasu. Tell me I'm not right or don't you have the guts. Remuru. Well if he doesn't I do because despite everything he's still fighting to quell the wave same as you except with harder circumstances you spoiled brat. But I'll offer you this advice trusting people like mine was by far one of my biggest mistakes. Nafumi. We're out of here. Remuru. Right let's go Riftalia. Motoyasu. Come on you're not gonna tell me you girls haven't heard those rumors about him. Riftalia. Rumors. Remuru. I'm a boy idiot if you paid attention on day one you'd know that. Motoyasu was visibly embarrassed. Itsuki. See you when the wave hits. Ren. Just stay out of our way. Remuru had been around Nafumi long enough to know when Nafumi was angered Remuru activated Lord's ambition on the heroes and their parties. Remuru. Make sure you do the same you try hard edge Lord. Nafumi. That's enough they're not worth it. Remuru deactivated Lord's ambition. Remuru. Got that right. They left the church leaving everyone in its speechless and terrified time passed and it was nightfall as Remuru and Nafumi were crafting potions. Riftalia. Um may I? Nafumi. What? Riftalia. Did something happen between you and the other heroes? Nafumi. That's none of your business. Remuru. Come now Nafumi she's been serving us loyally she at least deserves to know a bit. Nafumi. Dot 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 fine. They told her the truth about everything that happened with Mine's betrayal and how the king seems to despise the shield for no reason. Riftalia. How despicable. Remuru. Yes but there's not much we can do about it, we're just gonna have to keep moving forward until all the waves are destroyed. Riftalia. Understood masters we will just fight. The party then slept till morning arrived and they prepared for the waves. Riftalia. Master Nafumi Master Remuru. Nafumi. What is it? Riftalia. Well I just want to say that I'm truly grateful and honored to have met you both for everything. Remuru. Yeesh quit talking like we're gonna die out there trust me we've got this. Riftalia. Of course Master Remuru. The Herglis reached zero o'clock and the group was transported to the location of the waves. Nafumi. Where are we? Remuru. Guys, up there. Nafumi. There it is the waves of catastrophe. The three other heroes and their parties were on the move. Nafumi. Let's go guys. Remuru. Wait look it's the village of loot. Nafumi. Did everyone evacuate? They saw a distress flare be sent off from the town. Nafumi. Do they think it's enough to let the knights know where they are by the time the knights get here the village will be wiped out. Remuru. We should help them. Nafumi. Right we're going to loot village. Riftalia. Right. Thanks to their training the trio were able to make it to the village before any of the monsters. Villager 1. Look it's the shield hero and that mysterious blue-haired swordsman. Nafumi. Riftalia you help the villagers evacuate Remuru and I will hold them off. Riftalia. Right. Nafumi and Remuru saw some villagers get surrounded. Nafumi. I'll protect them you hold off the monsters. Remuru. On it partner. Remuru then stretched out his hand. Remuru. Black lightning. The black lightning struck all the monsters in the area. Nafumi. Hurry up and get out of here. Villager 2. But. Nafumi. Don't worry we'll be fine and we'll make sure to wipe them all out and we won't allow a single one of you to die so go. Villager 2. Right. Thanks to the infamous trio's efforts everyone was evacuated in a short time. Riftalia. Masters I'm back. Remuru. Alright then since we won't have to worry about friendly fire anymore let's go all out. Nafumi. Right. But suddenly what looked like various fireworks were fired Nafumi protected Riftalia while well, Remuru used Beelzebub on any of the attacks that were near him. Mauled. We burned them all to death in a single strike and the shield heroes party you guys are pretty tough. Nafumi. They didn't even care about us. Riftalia was furious she attempted to strike Mauled in outrage, but Remuru stopped her. Remuru. Enough cowards like them aren't worth it. Ache. I couldn't even see them. Remuru. Besides it's not like we need their help. Monsters surrounded the knights they were too slow to react, but Remuru and Riftalia cut the monsters down with ease. Remuru. Nafumi, Riftalia I can handle things in the village here you guys go to the center of the waves. Nafumi. 
you sure, Ermuru? I'm positive this is nothing to me, nephew me. Right you better not die, Ermuru. Who do you think you're talking to you insult me, partner, nephew me couldn't help but smirk, nephew me. Right I guess I should say don't take too long, partner, Ermuru. Now that's more like it, partner, nephew me. Riftalia let's go, Riftalia. Right, Nafumi and Riftalia rushed to the battlefield where they found the three heroes battling one beast, Nafumi. Seriously it takes all three of you to take one of them down, Moboyasu. Shut up I'd like to see you do better, Nafumi. Gladly, Riftalia, Riftalia. Right, Nafumi was able to block one of the attacks from the monster easily, and he punched it in the face, which sent it backward into Riftalia's attack which easily defeated it, Nafumi. Come on surely you guys can do better than that. The three heroes were visibly aggravated as the battle continued Nafumi, and Raftalia seemed to handle almost everything single-handedly with ease, her swordsmanship surpassed Ren, her accuracy surpassed Itsuki, and her power was greater than all of them combined as was revealed in this battle, Raftalia. Master Nafumi, the sky, as they looked the waves were dispelled, Motoyasu. No way that's impossible what kind of cheats did you put on your shield, your defense you shouldn't have been able to do that much. The heroes and their party members were all looking at Nafumi. Nafumi. Don't tell me you're upset that it's over the waves were quelled, and while you guys were messing around we were defending the town, and thanks to us no casualties, so I'd say it's a good day, Ren. Now hold on, Remuru. Sorry, but I've got butterfingers. They all look to see Remuru. Nafumi. Hey Remuru how did it go, Remuru. Despite the knights getting in the way I was able to defeat the monsters till the waves stopped, Nafumi. Nice work, partner, Ermuru. I just hope the knights won't be too embarrassed to make an honest report on what happened. They were all visibly annoyed with the shield hero's party, but there was nothing they could say, Ermuru. Anyways I only came to get you the townsfolk said that they wanted to thank you personally, Nafumi. I'll paw, Riftalia. Master Nafumi it's only proper manners, Nafumi. Fine. They gathered around Ermuru, Ermuru. Oh and by the way try not to get in the way next time. He said this while looking Ren in the eyes with a smug smile. Ren could only glare at him as he teleported them back to the village. Village head. Thank you very much we just checked and there were no casualties in our village. There's no way we could have survived without your help and courage. Ermuru. Are there any wounded? Village head. No you all arrived before they could do any damage. Ermuru. Well you're very welcome right Nafumi. Nafumi. Yeah whatever. The villagers bowed. Village head. We will never forget what you've done for us. Riftalia. They look truly grateful, Ermuru. Ain't this a nice change of pace Nafumi? Nafumi. I guess, Ermuru. Well I think we all did some good here don't you agree? Nafumi. Yeah, Riftalia. The sword techniques you taught me really helped who taught you how to wield a sword, Master Ermuru. Ermuru. I actually just taught you the techniques of everyone with a sword I knew you did well in learning them in a short time you have a real talent Riftalia. Riftalia. Thank you Master Ermuru. All the heroes and their parties went to the castle for a celebration and reward. Nafumi. This is ridiculous I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the reward, Ermuru. Come on no need to be a part pooper there's free good food nice music and lovely ladies. Riftalia pouted at that last comment, Ermuru. If we're gonna be here let's at least enjoy ourselves don't be such a tsundir, Nafumi. I am not don't call me that, Ermuru. Then don't call me a trap ever again, Nafumi. Fine deal. The party went on for a bit while Nafumi was sitting by a window, Riftalia. Master Nafumi the food here really looks amazing you sure you don't want something to eat, Ermuru. She's right you got to try some of these, Nafumi. If you too want to eat then go ahead, Riftalia. I'd really like for you to join us, Nafumi. I'll pass, Ermuru. Try summer I'll sell some armor to the other heroes, Nafumi. You wouldn't, Ermuru. Try me, Nafumi. Fine, Ermuru. I wasn't really going to but like hell, I'm letting my buddy go to a party without trying some food, even if he can't taste it, Motoyasu. Nafumi. We all look to see Motoyasu throw down his glove at Nafumi's feet. Motoyasu. Time to fight I've heard that you made poor Riftalia your slave and that she obeys your every command. Ermuru. Well technically she was a slave when we bought her, but yeah that's true and what of it. Nafumi. Yeah what do you care. Motoyasu. Watch your tone. Ermuru. Who do you think you are, Ponytail. Nafumi. Yeah Riftalia is our loyal slave and what's it to you. Motoyasu. Listen up you can't be saying you think it's okay to enslave others. Ermuru. Slavery is legal in this country so if you got a problem with it take it up with the kingdom's government, Nafumi. You have a right to your opinion and we disagree. Motoyasu pointed his spear at Nafumi. Motoyasu. Let's do this and if I win you're gonna set Riftalia free, Nafumi. Alright what's the plan if I win this fight, Motoyasu. That won't happen, but if it does things will stay the same, Ermuru. Before you let your ego do something stupid why don't we ask Riftalia the benefits of her slave crest is that she can't lie so Riftalia do you want to leave us because Nafumi and I won't stop you if you do, Riftalia. No of course not, I'm with you both of my own free will, Ermuru. 
And there you have it now quit being stupid and leave us alone. Guard stopped the three as they were leaving. Bull Cray. It has been brought to my attention that you a hero have been using a demi-human as your slave to fight for you, you've violated our customs, and that is reprehensible I order you, accept the challenge. Nafumi. Rimuru. Rimuru. I got you, partner. Rimuru activated Lord's ambition the guards dropped their weapons, and everyone aside from Nafumi and Riftalia were on their knees. Rimuru. Or what your majesty. Nafumi. You know what fine if you suddenly care about slaves and demi-humans so much then I'll accept, but I also want to double my reward if I win. Rimuru. This is the only way we will accept. Bolt Cray. Dot 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 fine. Rimuru deactivated Lord's ambition. Rimuru. The power I gave you in your shield should be more than enough to kick his ass just remember what we practiced. Nafumi. Right thanks partner. Everyone made it to the arena. Rimuru was in the stands with Riftalia sitting right next to him. Riftalia. I'm worried about Master Nafumi how will he fight without us. Rimuru. No need to worry Riftalia he'll be just fine. Motoyasu. Remember the folktale about the irresistible spear and the immovable shield Nafumi be a man and admit defeat. Nafumi looked at his shield and read something called the Remuru series he activated it, and the face of Remuru's slime form appeared on Nafumi's shield, the duel began and Motoyasu attacked, but it was useless as Nafumi effortlessly blocked all of his attacks. Motoyasu. Not too bad I guess the shield hero has a few moves. Nafumi. You got that right so in this folktale battle between a spear and a shield, did you know that the spear actually lost when it couldn't pierce the shield? Nafumi parried him back which sent him flying into the wall, but he got up. Motoyasu. Chaos Spear. Nafumi. Gluttony. The black vortex swallowed up Motoyasu's attacks, Motoyasu was visibly frustrated Nafumi rushed to Motoyasu and punched him in the gut with his shield, this attack sent the spear hero flying. Rimuru. I trained that boy. Rimuru said this quite proud. Mine. Impossible the shield can't be that strong. When Motoyasu fell back on the ground he was coughing up blood. Nafumi. You give up yet. Motoyasu. Like hell. Motoyasu rushed at Nafumi, but he blocked his attack. Nafumi. Chaos Eater. Motoyasu was bitten and his arms and legs began to decay he could barely move anymore. Motoyasu. What the hell is this? Nafumi. Surrender you can't fight anymore if you give up now I leave and heal your injuries. Noblewoman. It can't be. Nobleman. At this rate, the shield might win. Itsuki. Nafumi and his shield have the upper hand. Ren nodded in agreement. Nafumi. It's time for you to admit defeat or do you want even more embarrassment tough guy. Motoyasu. And why would I surrender now? Nafumi. Alright I see guess I'll take aim at your handsome face and that precious manhood of yours might as well since I'm a cowardly cheater. Rimuru. Nafumi dodge. Nafumi saw a magic attack coming at him from none other than mine. Nafumi. Counter shield. Nafumi parried the attack right into Motoyasu and he was knocked unconscious by it. Nafumi. Nice try you be. Mine was furious Motoyasu was down, and no one could deny it Nafumi was the winner, but no one cheered Riftalia however was so ecstatic that she hugged Rimuru, they then jumped down to Nafumi. Riftalia. Congratulations Master Nafumi you won. Rimuru. I never doubted you. Nafumi. Well it's mostly thanks to you, partner. Rimuru. No doubt and what was that about screaming dodge not being helpful. Nafumi. I'm not gonna admit it. Rimuru. Fine I won't ask you to, but we both know the truth. Mine was holding an unconscious Motoyasu. Mine. No it's impossible you cheated. Rimuru. How so exactly? Mine. You must have there's no way the shield could be that strong. Rimuru. Last I checked the only one who cheated was you after all you were the one who fired that attack at Nafumi, even though it was a one-on-one -on -one duel. Mine. I have no idea what you're talking about, Ren. He's right I hate to say it, but Motoyasu lost that duel. Itsuki. Nafumi won this battle fair and square despite your interference, and the reason why none of the nobles will tell you off about it is because they were told not to by the king, Ren. Wow I can't believe royalty would interfere with a sacred duel. Nafumi. Thanks guys, but it really doesn't matter so long as I get my reward for winning. The king had a spiteful look on his face. Rimuru activated Lord's ambition on Alt Kray. Rimuru. Surely royalty will keep their word right. Alt Kray. Dot 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 why yes. Rimuru deactivated Lord's ambition. Rimuru. Good with it we'll see you in the morning to collect double our initial reward good night your majesty. Philo, Morelia. Is that what the king has been up to? Melrith. He has apparently, I'm sure Princess Malty must have talked him into it. Morelia. How is the shield hero holding up? Melrith. His original party member has stayed with him, we assume it's because he knows the truth they also procured a demi-human girl from a slave trader a while ago. Morelia. Is that so that's a relief I must say however news of Melramurk summoning of the four cardinal heroes and this blue-haired hero's appearance is making no small impact in our kingdom, as well as others, we must make sure we prevent our neighbors from meddling in our affairs, no matter what it may take. Melrith. Never fear my lady we'll continue to keep a watchful eye on events in the capital. Morelia. 
I'm counting on you, Melrith left leaving the queen to her thoughts meanwhile and Melramurk the shield hero and his party were with the other heroes and their parties in the throne room in the throne room, Bolt Cray. For fulfilling my request Sir Motoyasu will receive 2000 silvers and young masters Itsuki and Ren will receive 1800 silvers, finally I've set aside 1000 silvers for the shield hero, Ramuru activated lord's ambition, Ramuru. Now that just doesn't seem fair you give more silvers to people who did less including a loser, even after it was our party that defended the town, defeated a majority of the monsters, and ensured no casualties, and little to no collateral damage, surely 1000 wasn't all you had, especially since you said you'd double for victory and participating in your meddling stunt. The king wanted more than anything to deny Ramura's claims, but he couldn't withstand Ramura's ability, and neither could mine who was too afraid to say anything. Bolt Cray. Dot 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 fine for his efforts in defending the town and his victory against the spear hero I reward him 1500 silver. Ramuru heightened the power of Lord's ambition. Bolt Cray. Forgive me I misspoke I meant 3000 silver. Ramuru deactivated Lord's ambition. Ramuru. Thank you your majesty you're quite generous. The heroes received their silver and left. Nafumi. Thanks partner. Ramuru. Hey it's our money like I'm letting us get cheated. Nafumi. Maybe but what should we do with it. Ramuru. Seal got any ideas. Seal. I suggest visiting the slave merchant a powerful ally awaits you there, Ramuru. Are you sure I don't trust most of the other slaves don't have the true loyalty that we need, Seal? Don't worry it is not the slaves that you seek, Ramuru. Okay since trusting you worked last time I'll do the same now. The group made their way to the slave tent where Barokas was happy to see them, Barokas. Well 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 if it isn't some of my best customers I see have you come to resell your slave, Raftalia. Of course, they haven't, Ramuru. Well that depends entirely on the price, Raftalia. Master Ramuru, Barokas. I can tell you've grown her stronger than she ever could have hoped to be you could get 50 for her if she were a virgin, Raftalia. But I am a virgin, Barokas. 75 gold pieces, Nafumi. Wow 75 gold pieces that's a lot of money isn't it partner, Ramuru. Yes it is partner, Raftalia. Masters, Ramuru saw eggs that were labeled, Ramuru. What are these? Barokas explained how the egg lottery worked they took his offer on the egg lottery, Nafumi. Why don't you pick Ramuru you seem like you'd be good at a gacha game, Ramuru. Well I have done something similar Earl, Ramuru looked upon each of the eggs, Ramuru. Seal which one has the most potential, Seal told him which they bought it and went on their way to train more Ramuru could tell their magical affinities and help teach them in their training accordingly, and despite reaching a level block at 50 instead of 40, they were able to get stronger by learning techniques and skills that Ramuru taught them they rested in loot, a town that welcomed them with open arms, a safe place to wait for the egg to hatch as they grew stronger till one morning, Nafumi. Raftalia wake up, Ramuru. Wakey wakey Raftalia. Raftalia woke up to her masters huddling around an egg as it started to hatch, she went in closer too, and out of the egg came a philolial that immediately imprinted on Nafumi and Ramuru. Nafumi. I thought you said you could pick the jackpot where's the dragon, Ramuru. I said I'd pick the creature with the most potential so I did, Nafumi. Well if you say so, Ramuru. Got a name for it, Nafumi. How about Philo, Ramuru. I like it Philo that's its name, the creature grew quickly into a relatively large bird that was bigger than the average philolial, Nafumi. Partner, what just happened, Ramuru. I believe I've explained how the naming system works back in my world, Nafumi. Right, Ramuru. Now comes the fun part training it, they were able to get it to learn well as the creature was quite obedient, which led to it becoming quite the powerful stead, Ramuru. Only two days and it already transformed into the perfect steed man we're good, Nafumi. You said it partner, villager one. Why are the knights here, Ramuru? What's going on now, Nafumi? Most likely trouble. The party is revealed mine holding up a paper decree, mine. In light of his exploits during the last wave the spear hero Sir Motoyasu has been appointed ruling lord of this region, Ramuru. Like hell he is. The knights look to Ramuru who was with the shield hero and their party, mine. What are you all doing here this is Sir Motoyasu's domain leave this instant you miserable criminals, Nafumi. I'd expect that they'd learn by now partner, Ramuru. You give them too much credit, partner. Ramuru activated Lord's ambition as he and the shield party approached them the knights dropped their weapons and fell to the ground, as did mine and Motoyasu, Ramuru. Still it's quite the fitting look for them on the ground like the dirt they are, Nafumi. I couldn't agree more. Suddenly a group of hooded figures in masquerade masks kneeled in between both parties, Melrith. I trust you know who we represent, mine. B but why have you come? Mine could barely speak as she was on the ground under the effects of Lord's ambition, she was handed a letter by the mysterious hooded figure, Melrith. For you, Ramuru. She must be a real deal if she can withstand this much of Lord's ambition impressive, Ramuru turned off Lord's ambition, Raftalia. Masters who are they, Ramuru. 
they are the Queen's Shadows, an espionage group that serves the Queen directly and are loyal only to her thank you, seal, they kinda remind me of the black numbers. As mine read the letter she became visibly aggravated with every word she read. Mine? How could this be shield hero fight us for the right to rule this village? Nafumi. I decline. Remuru. Hold on a moment partner there are few things I find more distasteful than doing what they say, but still I don't know about you, but I jump at the opportunity to kick their asses. Nafumi. Well when you put it like that. Dot dot. Remuru. Besides Philo seems anxious to beat them as well. Nafumi. Fine we accept your challenge. Remuru and Nafumi got Philo ready to race. Motoyasu. That is so lame you're gonna ride that fat bird thing not a dragon. Philo looked visibly annoyed. Motoyasu. How can you possibly keep up with my dragon with that thing? Suddenly Philo kicked the spear hero ride in his manhood, which sent him flying past a hay pile, and over the fence he landed on the ground with nothing to soften his fall. Mine. Sir Motoyasu healing magic come on. Night one. Right away. Remuri Nafumi and Philo shared a smirk. Mine. You cheaters. Nafumi. You have any idea what she's being about? Remuru. None partner. Nafumi. It's his fault for getting too close. Remuru. Surely a hero would know you have to be careful around such beasts. Riftalia may not have been laughing, but it pleased her to see her masters happy. Village head. The race will be three laps around the edge of this village, whoever makes it toward this gate first is the winner. Mine. Sir Motoyasu. Riftalia. Master Nafumi good luck you can do it. Remuru. Remember the plan. Nafumi winked at his partner. Village head. On your marks. Dot dot go. Motoyasu and his ground dragon took off, but Nafumi and Philo stayed where they were. Mine. What's this have you given up already shield hero? Nafumi. I'm just making things fair by giving him a head start. Mine was irked at his comment, but Nafumi and Philo just stood there patiently until Motoyasu was coming around for the second time. Motoyasu. Come on at least put some effort into it. Nafumi. I'd say you've used up your privilege, Philo. But those words, Philo dashed the backlash knocked Motoyasu off his steed as Nafumi and Philo proceeded to lap them and finished the entire race in less than 10 seconds, Nafumi won the race. Nafumi. Nice job Philo looks like you were able to hold back more. Everyone was speechless. Village head. Brilliantly done thanks to you we can rest easy and focus on rebuilding the village. Nafumi. If you want to thank someone thank Philo here. Remuru. Hey it was us who raised her so we're still great. Mine. You cheated there's no way this massive tub of lard won that ray so fast. Remuru. Sucks to suck I guess, but we won so cope or cry about it. Mine was furious. Motoyasu. Remember I let you win today, but it won't happen next time, and you won't have that fat tub of. Nafumi. Hey now how's your crotch doing? Riftalia. Master Nafumi. Motoyasu. H-R-R-R-R-R-N-G-H. Well. Dot dot you anyway, I'll get you why. Remuru. Oh look it's little Motoyasu do you want a biscuit boy you want a biscuit, Motoyasu. Dot 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 do you think I'm a do, Remuru. Have a biscuit, Remuru threw a dog biscuit in Motoyasu's face, Riftalia. Master Remuru. The duo couldn't stop laughing despite Riftalia trying to discourage their behavior Motoyasu wanted to respond, but his manhood still pained him, so he decided to just walk off, Remuru. Now as for the reward, village head. We're scrapping funds please just give us a few more days to, Remuru. That old wagon should do nicely if no one else is using it. With that, the party had new transportation and left the village after receiving a toll pass from the village head. Riftalia. Sorry masters, but could we stop for a little bit just a second? They halted the wagon, and Remuru tossed Riftalia a potion. Remuru. Here drink this it should give you immunity to motion sickness. Riftalia drank the potion. Remuru. Feel better. Riftalia. Yes thank you master Remuru. They decided to camp for the night. Nafumi. Now we can run a traveling business while fighting monsters and leveling up hope you don't mind starting another business partner, Remuru. Of course, not partner ain't nothing new, and trust me I've got experience with this, Riftalia. I'll do my best too, Nafumi. So who should take watch, Remuru. I got it I'll be alerted if something happens, Nafumi. Alright then. Thila rested in between her two masters, Remuru. Guess someone wants some attention, Remuru said this as he pat her head, Nafumi. Your feathers are stuffy as hell you realize that, Remuru. He I guess they are. Remuru and Nafumi ended up falling asleep with Philo on their laps. A break, Riftalia. Master Nafumi, Master Remuru. The duo woke, Remuru. Whoops guess I ended up falling asleep good morning Riftalia. Nafumi. Same good morning. As the duo stretched they felt soft skin and hair when they looked it revealed what looked like a blonde young girl they both jumped away when they realized this, Philo. Good morning, Riftalia. Masters who the heck is she, Nafumi. Remuru who the heck is she, Remuru. Seal who the heck is she, Seal. That is the Philolial known as Philo, Remuru. That's Philo, Nafumi and Riftalia. That's Philo, Philo. 
can I have something to eat? The saviors, it's been a while since Philo appeared in her new form at first Nafumi and Raftalia were a bit freaked out, but Remuru was used to these sorts of situations. He made a set of clothes for her that would stay on despite her transformation after getting her a slave crest. The duo did various favors and quests around the kingdom that earned the money and a reputation as the saviors among these quests. Included cleaning up after the other heroes till they needed to purge a dragon corpse. Nafumi. I know you gave the entire village a cure for a decent price, but are you sure we don't need masks? Ermuru. Of course, it's a cure and vaccine so we're immune, but despite it being a nice secure income, someone will get rid of it eventually, so we should reap the rewards of doing so. They approach the corpse. Nafumi. So this is it. Ermuru. It seems so partner. Nafumi. The air here smells terrible, but. Ermuru. Let's just be happy that's all it does let's just hurry up and purge this thing. Nafumi. Ugh given its eyes even taking it apart will be a pain. Suddenly the corpse began to move and stand up and roar. Nafumi. It's a damn dragon zombie what the? Rimuru. Well you know the drill let's. But before Rimuru could finish an anxious Philo attacked the beast and kicked its head clean off there was nothing left of its head. Philo. I hate dragons. Rimuru. Probably best for me to not use my true dragon form around her, and I don't want her picking any fights with certain dragons I know. Philo destroyed the beast there was little left of it. Rimuru. Dot 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 well that solves one problem. Ermuru and Nafumi absorbed what was left of the dragon and reaped the benefits. Ermuru. Get any new abilities Nafumi. Nafumi. Nothing that looks as good as the Ermuru series. Ermuru. Oh you're making me blush partner. Ermuru and Nafumi then used gluttony and Beelzebub to swallow up anything left of the pestilence they then received gratitude and a nice reward they then left in the morning where they encountered a dark blue haired child with other philolials they approached her and the philolials fled from her. Nafumi. A human child. Philo. Those birds looked yummy if we start now we can still hunt them down. Reftalia. What do you mean yummy? Nafumi. Now hang on just a second those were philolials just like you. Ermuru. That's cannibalism Philo. Philo just looked confused as if she had a point. Melty. So big. Ermuru snickered but was elbowed by Nafumi. Nafumi. Grow up. Melty. Are you really and truly a philolial? Philo. Do you mean me? Melty. And you can actually talk as well. Philo nodded. Melty. I've always dreamed of talking with a philolial, and here I am doing it. Melty. Oh this is for you it's dried meat. Philo. Oh, thanks. The two girls seemed to get along, they decided to let them play as they finished up work in the town, when the day was near its end, they agreed to accompany her back to the capital, though they preferred not to go near the capital unless necessary, the thought of getting a high reward was too good for them to pass up, so they decided to accompany her until a certain night when Mel was nowhere to be, seen only her clothes on the ground, Nafumi. Riftalia partner. Riftalia and Remuru. Yes. Nafumi. We saw nothing okay. Remuru. Agreed. Riftalia. What are you both saying? Nafumi. If we destroy the evidence. Remuru. No evidence no crime. Riftalia. You can't be serious. Nafumi. What, you think it's better for us to confess that Philo ate some noble's daughter. Remuru. This is not a debate we're already infamous enough as it is this is an order. The trio was then relieved to see that Melty was alive and well inside Philo's feather, needless to say they were all relived the next morning they arrived at the capital, where the group tried to avoid attention and remain inconspicuous. Melty. Well then I really can't thank you all enough, Philo. Masters is it alright if I take Mel home? Nafumi. Okay just make sure you collect the reward, Philo. K. The two young girls left as they did the trio wandered the town till a familiar knight seemed to be attempting to approach them. Ake. Wait shield hero. Nafumi. We should start running. Ermuru. From what if he wants trouble that's gonna be his loss, plus I don't sense any malice from him, let's just hear him out and get it over with. It turns out that the knight merely wanted to ally with the shield and the blue haired hero of rumors in the waves. Nafumi. Look we appreciate your offer, but I'm gonna have to decline. Ake. But we promise we'll do whatever we can to lend you our power. Ermuru. Do we look like we need your power? Ake. Please we're willing to do anything even if it's not much. Nafumi. Give us a second. The three huddled up. Riftalia. If they want to help us fight the waves I believe we should let them. Ermuru. That's true, but there's always the possibility that some among them just want to learn the secrets of our power, but if that's the case we could stop them easily, I say give them a shot if we leave them to defend the people, then we can go to the front lines without worry. Nafumi. Okay then, but if they're lying to us it'll be your responsibility to deal with them, partner. Ermuru. Deal, partner. Nafumi. Fine we'll accept your help you can meet us in the town center before the waves hit and if you can't pull your weight you will be left behind. Ake. Thank you shield hero and you too blue hero. Ermuru. Is that what they're calling me well I've been called worse so I guess I don't mind. The trio wandered around. Ermuru. It's been a while since we last saw Philo I hope that she's alright. Nafumi. Yeah I didn't think it would take this long now that you mention it. Motoyasu. 
Nafumi. The trio looked to see the spear hero attacking them the trio dodged with ease. Nafumi. You're attacking me in the middle of the street what's wrong with you? Motoyasu. Shut your face where is that slave girl free her now? Ermuru punched Motoyasu in the stomach which sent him to his knees. Ermuru. You really have no brains don't you? Nafumi. You're a real pain Reftalia isn't. Motoyasu. I'm not talking about her. Ermuru. Wait you mean Philo. Motoyasu then went into detail on his assumption of the situation and his thing for angels. Nafumi and Ramuru. Pedophile. Motoyasu. Are you that's no. Nafumi. And dude what's up with that. Motoyasu had some metal plates on his manhood. Motoyasu. Oh yeah I almost forgot that fat bird's yours too isn't it. Nafumi. Should we tell him. Ramuru. No, it's way funnier. Motoyasu. Hey tell me what N is for you you blue haired trap this time it will be you that rolls over and plays D. Ramuru threw another dog biscuit at Motoyasu. Motoyasu. Oh that's it you're both soda. Ramuru then threw five dog biscuits in his face. Motoyasu. Dot dot dot. Ramuru then threw one final dog biscuit. Motoyasu then attacked out of fury his attack straight a bit to the side and caused damage to their surroundings. Ramuru. Alright boy time to lie down. Ramuru then quicker than anyone can see ended up behind Motoyasu. Motoyasu. How did why? Ramuru gave him a swift chop that knocked him unconscious. Ramuru. And stay. Mine. You lowly criminals how dare you. Nafumi. Great it's mine. Ramuru. And here I was starting to enjoy myself. Mine. If you think you'll get away with this you've got another thing coming. Night surrounded them. Ramuru. Boys I think we all know how this will go so do you we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Nafumi. The choice is yours. The knights were shaking it was clear they were terrified but they stood their ground. Ramuru. Partner I think they're choosing the hard way. Nafumi. It seems so partner. They drew their weapons in response. Melty. Put your weapons away. The knights kneeled the shield party had a surprised look to see Melty. Melty. I absolutely forbid the heroes fighting amongst themselves. Ramuru. Well sorry, but you're a bit late the fight's already over. Melty. I see. Mine. W what are you doing here? Melty. It has been way too long dear sister. As they were having a family reunion. Nafumi. Melty is mine's little sister. Ramuru. Sometimes it's annoying how small the world is. Nafumi. Maybe we should leave. Ramuru. I agree. Philo. Masters. Ramuru. Perfect timing now Philo let's go. Philo. We're leaving already. Nafumi. I'm afraid so. Motoyasu awoke thanks to some healing magic he then immediately strutted up to Philo and took her hand. Motoyasu. Philo that is what they call you isn't that right my dear. Philo nodded. Motoyasu. Oh you poor thing I'll bet Nafumi is working you like some beast of burden. Philo. But I like pulling the carriage a lot. Motoyasu. Nafumi you swine how could you you're making her pull your wagon like that big fat bird you'll pay for this. Philo. Would you have to go and call me fat like that. Motoyasu was confused. Philo. You made fun of me the last time we met too. Motoyasu. I did when was that. Ramuru couldn't help but chuckle and so did Nafumi in response as Philo revealed her true form to the ignorant hero. Philo. I hate you, spear guy. Motoyasu. Ah uh, you mean you're that big fat. Philo kicked Motoyasu yet again in his manhood which shattered the plate he was wearing a cracking sound could be heard and it wasn't the plate. Mine. Sir Motoyasu, someone get him to a doctor and quick. Philo. Philo wins again. Nafumi. A job well done. Ramuru. Philo have we ever told you how much we love you and how proud of you we are. Philo was happy to be showered with praises and head pats from her masters. Reftalia. Masters. She had a look of disappointment and envy. Ramuru. Oh don't be so jealous. Reftalia was flustered. Reftalia. T that's not it at all. Melty. Shield hero I need to speak with you urgently. The group decided to meet again at the place where they parked their wagon. Nafumi. So who exactly are you anyway? Melty. Please accept my apology I am first in line to the Melramurk throne the second princess I am Princess Melty Melramurk. She explained how she was first in line for the throne she seemed to have some business to discuss but Nafumi was having none of it. Nafumi. You can forget everything we're out of here I just can't trust anything you say. Catastrophe's loss. Nafumi. I can't trust anything you say get lost. Ramuru. Cold but I can't blame him. Melty. Please wait you have to hear me out. Nafumi. I don't have to listen to a damn word that comes out of the filthy royal mouths. Ramuru. Sorry Melty but you should leave. Knight. Princess Melty his royal majesty calls please come with us. Melty. Very well I'll go I have to leave now Philo. Philo. Mel wait. Nafumi. Philo. No. Don't. Melty then left. Eftalia. Why couldn't you have given her a chance to explain herself. Philo. Hey masters I don't understand how could you treat Mel so coldly why. Tell me why. Please. Ramuru. Well I think we should at least give her an explanation it's not like she won't understand. Nafumi. Dot 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 fine. Ramuru then explained the history between Nafumi and the royal family. Philo. But that can't be Mel is not like that. Ramuru. 
as far as we know but we can't be sure so it would be best to keep your distance we don't want any trouble with the royal family. But anyways while we're here, we should probably get those class upgrades we heard about, Nafumi. Good idea partner, they made their way to the church, Nafumi. Why is the shield the only one that's missing, when they entered they had an unwelcome surprise, Nafumi. 15 gold pieces, Ermuru. Is that all fine, Ermuru handed the nun 30 gold pieces, Nafumi. Go on you two and Ramuru don't you want one, Ramuru. Believe me an upgrade is the last thing I need. But then they received the news that they weren't allowed to obtain any class upgrades, seal. Suggestion you could just kill them and take it for free, Ramuru. Tempting but unnecessary fine we'll just take our money elsewhere your loss. The party left the church, Ramuru. I could do a self-made class upgrade, but maybe later it's not even like we need an upgrade right now. The party slept at an inn and left in the morning for a job while they aided refugees and heard of their struggle and the bow hero's involvement in it. Thanks to Remura's abilities, the people were better off when they encountered the bow and sword hero. They reprimanded them for their recklessness. When the conversation was finished, the shield's party encountered the same group that wanted to help. And Remuru gave them decent gear. Remuru. Be careful I made that suit so that if you betray us then they will explode on your person. The party was intimidated. Nafumi. He nice joke partner. Remuru. Joke. Reftalia. Master Remuru you were kidding right. Remuru. Dot dot dot. Reftalia. Right. Remuru. Let's all do our best out there with this gear you guys should be able to defend the people easily. Remuru refused to elaborate on if they would explode or not the next day arrived and the team was ready Remuru warped them to the town and teleported all the civilians to a safe shelter. Ache. We can handle things here the front lines need you guys, Remuru. Right don't die. The party of the shield left they found the other three heroes struggling and arguing against what looked like an undead pirate ship, Remuru. Struggling again are we now that is just sad, Nafumi. Honestly do we have to do everything for you. The three heroes were furious with that comment, Remuru. Let's show them how it's done guys. Without another word they each destroyed all the monsters, while the other heroes could do nothing but watch soon, the dimensional soul leader was spawned the other heroes tried using lightning magic to no use. Nafumi. You can take this one if you want Philo. Philo. K. But that Philo unleashed a fury of quick strikes and wind attacks that destroyed the beast with ease. Nafumi. Looks like that puts an end to that, Ermuru. Good job Philo you did very well. Philo, thank you master. Ermuru was patting her head much to her joy. Itsuki. I'll be damned, Ren. So basically they cheated, Motoyasu. You can bet things will be different next tea. The dog biscuit was hurled into Motoyasu's face. Motoyasu. Will you doing stop that already, Philo? Hey don't tell me you're a sore loser, Remuru. Come on Motoyasu answer the girl. While Motoyasu seemed to be antagonized by Remuru and Philo, suddenly everyone felt another ominous prescience it was another soul eater, Itsuki. Another one, Ren. I've definitely never seen this in a game before, Remuru. That's because it's not a game whatever Riftalia you can. Suddenly the Soul Eater was defeated without another word by an attack from above, Ren. Just how broken are you guys, Remuru? That wasn't us, Lass. How very disappointing. The woman with black hair wearing a dark yukata suddenly appeared from above, Lass. Some of you actually had trouble with weaklings like these are you really the heroes holding the world's fate in your hands, Lass. There are only two here worthy of being called heroes and what are your names, Remuru? Can't lie she's kind of a hot eye, Nafumi. How about you introduce yourself before asking someone's name, Glass. Oh pardon me whatever happened to my manners I am called Glass, and that's all you need to know for now feel free to consider me your enemy, Remuru. I'm certain if you knew what happens to my enemies you wouldn't use the word so casually, Nafumi. I'm Nafumi, Remuru. And I'm Remuru, Glass. Nafumi and Remuru well well then may I suggest that we begin the only battle of this wave worthy of the name, Remuru. Seal she talks big, but just to be sure she's not anything to worry about is she, Seal. Master and his party are more than sufficient enough to defeat her, Remuru. Thanks Seal just checking, Lass. Why are you waiting to attack why not send those servants of yours at me first, Ren? Servants what the hell, Itsuki. You just called us, Motoyasu. Nafumi servants, Remuru. Wouldn't be a bad idea, but as if we let people as weak as them be our servants, you insult us Glass, Lass. I see forgive me I did not mean to disrespect one of the only people here with strength I suppose then mere weaklings would be a more appropriate title, Remuru. You're not far off, Ren, Itsuki, Motoyasu. Screw the both of you. The other three heroes and their party surrounded glass, Ren. Meteor slash, Motoyasu. Meteor thrust, Itsuki. Meteor shot, their attacks hit, but glass appeared to be unscathed, glass. Is that all you've got, glass then ready to counter, glass. Zero Stance Rondo Reverse Four Seasons. The heroes and their parties were defeated by the attack quite easily, Glass. As I was saying before mere servants, Itsuki. How did she do that, Glass? I know at least this will be entertaining, Nafumi. 
Sorry lady but I was never much into entertaining. Ermuru. But still here's the first act. Nafumi. Shield prison. Lass was captured by the shield prison she couldn't escape it for a minute. Ermuru. Black flames. Lass was able to escape just in time, but was ambushed by Riftalia and Philo, who attacked her in the air she could just barely keep up with them. Lass. Impressive. Ermuru. You just may have bit off a bit more than you can chew glass. Lass was attacked from all sides she was struggling, and it was all she could do to counter. Ermuru. I may be holding back a lot, but I can tell this woman is quite powerful by this world's standards at least. Lass was barely on her feet she was outnumbered and outmatched. Nafumi. Give up and tell us who you really are and we may let you live. Lass. I see it seems I greatly underestimated all of you I have no choice but to retreat. With that, she flew back into the portal trying to retreat. Nafumi. Are we just gonna let her go, Ermuru? We know she's no threat to us just leave her be I could've followed her, but the waves will end soon, so I guess it's unnecessary. But Glass's disappearance, the wave also stopped. Philo. Is it all over, Ermuru? It seems so Philo. The party went to the town thankfully everyone was alright, and there were no casualties, and little to no collateral damage, Ramuru and Nafumi were contemplating everything that happened, and planning their next move, when two familiar knights approached them. Ache. Excuse me shield hero and blue hero, mauled. You are both to report to the royal castle at once. Nafumi. Huh, Ermuru. Let's not. Ache. Please heroes I beg you I know how you feel believe me I understand, but please go with the captain. Ermuru. I really need to start learning how to say no to people like him whatever we need to pick up our reward, so this does give us the opportunity. Nafumi. I guess you have a point. When the duo arrived at the castle the king was reviewing the battle through a crystal ball, even though it was a flawless victory with the look on his face you would think otherwise. All cray. I saw what happened through the crystal ball you did well to quell the waves, as much as I loathe to admit it. Nafumi. Wow don't be grateful or anything, Ermuru. Well what can be said except you're welcome, Bull Cray. I have an order for you both it's clear that the reason why you have obtained such incredible strength on becoming of the shield hero is that ally of yours that's present as heroes, it is your duty to share this power with the kingdom as well on details on how to mass produce it. Ermuru and Nafumi looked at each other and then had the same wicked grin on their face, they then both pointed down the king was confused. Nafumi. If you want our help so badly come kneel. Ermuru. Maybe if you grovel enough for us to forgive you we may oblige. Everyone in the room was shocked by his words. Nafumi. You see where I come from when someone asks for something they usually grovel before the one who has what they need isn't that right partner, Ermuru. Yes, I'm quite familiar with that custom as well partner they say I beg you please bless me with your superior power to my insignificant being, Bolt Cray. Insolent curs. Night surrounded the two. Nafumi. As things stand now if we wanted we could kill you right here and walk straight out the door, Ermuru. Hell we could take over this sorry shallow excuse of a nation if we truly desired, and there's nothing you or any of the heroes could do to stop us. Bull Cray. You're both bluffing and you know it. Ermuru. Are we after all it was our party that defeated not only the wave's strongest monster, but the woman who brought the other heroes to their knees. Nafumi then had a wickedly menacing grin. Nafumi. With that information what could you do to possibly counter us? The knights surrounding them were shaking, and the king was silent. Ermuru. What? No response. Ermuru had his hand on his ear in a mockingly way. Nafumi. We only came here for one reason the reward for our efforts, but don't even bother. Ermuru. We don't need money given to us by your filthy hands. The duo then turned their backs on the king ready to leave. Nafumi. We're willing to tolerate you and cooperate only until the waves die down. Ermuru. Don't even think of wasting our time by calling us again. They started exiting the throne room. Old Cray. I'm the king I forbid either of you to disrespect me this way. Ermuru. Sorry but I have no respect for a cowardly man who married his way into the throne I've met countless rulers, but my least favorite kind even over the evil ones are weak cowards like you, and don't even think of trying to target our other party members, they'd tear you to shreds. Though he tried not to show it by masking it with anger, Alt Cray was terrified he tried to curse them in response, but before he could a knife in the shape of a dog biscuit was hurled in his direction just missing his head. Nafumi. Shut up and if you've got a complaint about us go cry about it to your wife we only respect true authority. They left without another word they left for Shieldford and in hopes of better treatment and use of their dragon Herglis, they stopped on the road for a moment. Nafumi. I love traveling it makes me feel free shackled by no one. Ermuru. I know the feeling of traveling alongside people you trust is a great bliss. Nafumi. Yeah, no royalty to deal with not even the other heroes. Melty. Found you. They looked to see Melty in a carriage with other knights escorting her. Ermuru. You just had to jinx it didn't you? Nafumi. I know just my luck. Philo. Ha it's Mel hey we're over here Mel it's so good to see you. Nafumi. Philo. Ermuru. Remember our talk. Riftalia. Masters I know it wasn't very long, but we did travel together as a team. Philo. Mel's a good person you know she really is. Ermuru. 
maybe but she's still royalty so that usually means trouble for us, but I suppose it won't hurt to hear her out, don't you think Nafumi? Nafumi. Fine if you insist so badly. Melty. Sir Shield Hero and Sir Blue Hero I have a request please return to the capital and speak with King Alcray again. Nafumi and Remuru. Not a chance. Melty looked peeved, but she continued after collecting herself. Melty. I want you both to apologize for your conduct and reconcile. Remuru. You're hilarious I would rather fight this world's deities with my bare hands than apologize to that loser. Nafumi. Forget it. Melty. We need your help heroes we just can't stop the waves without you besides you'd be nowhere without the king's financial help don't you understand? Remuru. You must really not understand the situation between us if you did you'd know we've been making a fortune despite that bastard's refusal to give us anything. Nafumi. We're the ones that are graciously working with you guys only until all the waves are gone that is. Melty seemed to be losing patience. Reftalia. Master Nafumi, Master Remuru. Nafumi. She's royalty too. Remuru. Sorry but currently no trust. Melty. Why dot 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 why do both of you and my father have to act this way it's ridiculous heroes and the king can't be fighting among themselves absolutely not. Philo. Mel. Melty. Don't you agree with me Philo isn't this silly. Philo not wanting to disappoint her masters or her friend did not answer. Melty. You agree with me don't you Reftalia. Reftalia. Well um actually I am Master Nafumi and Master Remuru's sword you know. Melty. You see they agree with me both of them. Nafumi. Actually they don't. Remuru. Yeah I didn't hear that. Melty. Look just apologize to father just this once otherwise mother's going to yell at him when she comes back. Nafumi. That really sounds like a him problem. Remuru. Well you may have more class than your by sister, it's clear you still have much to learn. Melty. What are you implying? Remuru. This is not how an effective ruler negotiates if you want something, then you can't just go around demanding it, especially if said party has no obligation to you, you must gain their respect and trust, and realize both sides of the problem, and solve the problem efficiently, and accordingly, you could have used the relative more amount of trust some of our party has in you, to gain our sympathy too. Hear you out on why this situation is so dire or admonish the king for his unjust treatment of Nafumi, instead of just coming around demanding things like we work for you, and even if we did that, is not how you gain respect among your comrades and subordinates all this approach does is make you look like a desperate whining child. Everyone seemed shocked at Remuru's words Melty even felt slightly defeated. Remuru. Along with it a leader must be aware and never let their guard down like for the approaching danger behind you. Melty. What are you talking ab? The knight was about to strike her with his sword, but Remuru with haste stopped the attack and broke the knight's sword. Remuru. You really have a lot to learn. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video.and have a fantastic day bye.